so glad you picked up this Skype call. I Listen, I had to just jump right in and just do this really, really quickly. This won't be a long call, because, bitch, if you've been on the internet or under a rock, if you cannot tell, Beyonce is back on stage, girl. And so, listen, the rumors were true. She got paid... Well, they said, I think 34, I've been seeing 34 million, now I see 24 million. I don't know which one it is. I'm gonna go with the most. I see 34 million. <laughs> I feel like whoever was at the hotel, they said, you know what? Add 10, 10 more million to that. Just add 10 more million to that. Because you know what? She didn't have to come and sing like that. And if you're like me, or if you're like everybody else on the internet right now, can you not get that run out your mind? I can't get that run out my mind for nothing. I am slaved to that damn run. I mean, like, everywhere I go, it could go to the gym, I could be cleaning up the house, I could be just going to take a sh And yet somehow, some way. <laughs> I am still back at this damn run. Beyonce, how do you have, just point me in the direction of an artist that can have a run. Not a song, not a sound, not a, not a little trendy little sound a run of a existing song that's maybe what 2013 almost 10 years old be so legendary how like an a music arrangement be so legendary so th the reason why i want to hop on the skype call right this is really for my beehive and everybody else that love beyonce but i want to hop on this call because it's been a lot of debacle about my bitch singing or even just this concert in general right there's been talk there have been talks so let's have a conversation, you know? So people have been coming on the internet, as you know, everybody got an opinion like on the internet. And some people have been challenging my girl, but in the sense of like, why would you perform over there? They don't like gays over there. You just had this whole Renaissance situation. That's why they should perform nothing from Renaissance. Let me tell you something. Clearly, like clear as day, and they never shied away from in the Middle East, you know, the gays and things like that. It's just not, a, it's, 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 it's very taboo over there and it's still a, a problem and it's still unaccepted over there. Which also, in the same breath of this, there were gays that went to this, by the way. There was people of our girls that were in the crowd. They were invited. But that's not the problem. That's not that Beyonce doesn't support the gays and she's just using them. Because some girls have the, uh, the nerve, the outrage and selective outrage of it all. No shade. The girls want to find something wrong when they got to find something wrong when it ain't really nothing wrong. But it's funny to me because in my mind, I feel like Beyonce gets this flack every time she steps out. And I can kind of see why she's so private. Honestly, I can kind of see why she plays, you know, being behind the scenes a little bit. Like, I don't want to be too much on the scene because y'all got something to say, even down to her singing live. Oh, yes. Oh yes, yeah. some of you girls in the back, some of the haters in the back have something to say about my girl singing. And that, that clip that is going viral of her doing that last run was live or not. Let me tell you something, regardless of how you feel, if it's, if, even if my mama's was lip syncing, cause no shade, nobody can do it. Nobody can pre-record. Nobody has the vocals like my girl in my mind. You can say what you want, but that's how I feel. So let's hypothetical, let's play devil's advocate, right? If she was, you know, if it was a lipped moment, regardless of the fact she had to still do that note, she would still have to pre-record it. You have to see what I'm saying. The thing is, I know some of you faves out there, I'm not gonna call y'all out, but some of y'all out there like, to, you know, they use pre-records too, which also I made a video about this. Pre-records is not a problem. No shade, it's a lot of benefits to it. It protects your voice. If you're on tour, it makes sure you are not tired vocally. It also can make sure your show runs smoothly. And if you're a perfectionist a little bit, <laughs> you can make sure every time you hit that stage at that one specific part is going to hit because it may be vocal, vocally demanding. And then you got people like my girl Gaga who can do every single show, no lip, no pre-record, a little bit of backtracking because they like that authenticity. They like the cracking. They like uh, the out of breathness. Uh, Gaga loves the, the imperfection of live. That's what a live performance in some cases are about. And some artists love that unpredictability of being live, right? But my baby sung live in Dubai. <laughs> and her band, some people in the band had to even, it's ridiculous that some people from the band had to come out and say, no baby, that was live. Even down to when she did um, to uh, Be Alive, for, was at the Oscars, I believe, last year. Oh my gosh, she's lip syncing, she lip syncing, she lip syncing. Girl, and everybody like, no, baby, that baby was thinking live. What y'all talking about? What are y'all doing? But it's funny how people 
can still try to discredit Beyonce after all these years. And I'm not saying that because I'm a stan. I, well, I am, I got a chip on my shoulder because I am a stan, but you know, here I am, yes. Well, I have something to say. I'm not saying this solely because I'm a stan, but I'm saying this from the perspective of just how the entertainment business is going in general. Mediocracy is so praised and no shade, no shade, no shade. Some of y'all faves is mediocre, but for some reason, when my girl comes out and make it all about her and could go viral for just singing a tune, another musical arrangement of the same song and go viral for it, y'all don't live for that. Y'all, the girls like to challenge that, but let it be <laughs> somebody else and let them be white, no shade. Let them be white. Oh, she's just expressing her song. It's just, it is what it is. No shade, I can't stand it. I, it's, it's, it kind of goes to show how much, how hard even Beyonce as a black entertainer has to work. I remember this brings you all the way back to the Super Bowl when uh, she did the inaugurational uh, singing for Obama and she pre-recorded it and everybody was like, oh my God, Beyonce, I told y'all she can't sing. And baby said, but it was cold outside and I wasn't want to risk it. I didn't want to risk messing it up about and making the moment about me. It is about the president. And that was so true that my baby had to go to the Super Bowl and make sure y'all, I'm singing live up in here. I'm screaming through, girl, please. So it's just amazing to me to see how still even Beyonce can get criticized for being sickening. And, and, you know, bringing something that is not in the music industry right now, which is creativity in the sense of going beyond what's expected. You know what I mean? And making moments. The thing is, we've lost that in the music industry. And I think because of that, Beyonce gets this like backlash of, oh, y'all thought that was cute. I guess she's faking it. It couldn't be that. And I'm like, how are you hating? If you got a problem with her, you must be crazy. But you can't sit up here and praise somebody that's up here barely singing a, 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 and, and, and pitchy and can't hold a tune. It's not cute, it's not cute, it's not cute. I don't like it. And then baby brought up <laughs> my girl feet, my girl shoes, my girl heel was about this big. Yes, and, and but for the first time ever, right? My girl, you never, you never see my girl in a shorter pump. My girl, I remember Beyonce used to pump to the sh in the streets, normal streets, going up to, a, to the studio, whatever, and an 11 inch boot this big, girl. A fool. And I used to be like, I don't know how you doing it. But uh, I guess allegedly my girl had foot surgery, which I don't know how some of y'all found out. That's like, how did y'all find that out? Is that, is that true? Is that true? I guess, if it's true, if it is, I don't know. My baby had to be sensible and a sensible heel. Girl, doctor's orders. <laughs> that brings me back to my point of how as a black artist, and especially a black woman, you have to work so hard to validate and prove how sickening you are and how talented you are with people still having to find something about it. Well, you point me in the direction of a fave getting paid 24 to $34 million for one hour performance for a one-time situation. When you let me know your fave can do that, then we can have a conversation. But until then, I am standing behind the greatest entertainer alive, past and present. You can fight me in the comments if you would like, but I said what I said. She is the greatest. Nobody's done it like this. Say what you want, and it's a black woman. And I know that makes some of y'all mad in the back. Mm. <laughs> I just wanted to know if you guys are gagging and watching old footage of Beyonce like me, because let me tell you something. I don't know if y'all like me, but I like, I have to watch this performance from Dubai, but like then also go back and watch like uh, Beachella and then go back and watch like I Am Sasha Fierce tour and then gotta go watch clips of Formation World Tour. Cause let me tell you something, I like to find the progression of like how my favorite songs turned out, like Crazy and Love is different. <gasps> and then the, I could I forget about this. The uh, boy, 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 boy. Ah! That countdown intro, girl, just, just. <sighs> Hold up, I also need to talk about my girl Blue Ivy doing the lean with it, rock with it. And Beyonce had to be like, no mommy, calm down. Calm down to all that. This is still my show. I'm just kidding. <laughs> she, I just I just love the mommy and daughter dynamic that Blue and Beyonce have. It's so beautiful to see. And so beautiful to like see Beyonce just be a mom and be a mother. Not only to the beehive and to the rest of the music industry, but to Blue and Rumi and Sire. And to Jay-Z on certain nights. You know. <laughs>
I don't know if Beyonce, if we get an official, an official live version of this. I don't know if we getting some audio. I'm not gonna sit up here and badger you about no visual for this because you still ain't gave Brenda Science a visual. So you a little behind, you a little past due. So I don't want to give you too much of responsibility, bitch, because you got some shit to come out with. Actually, you what, seven, six years behind for Formation World Tour? We still want that. So if you're waiting for this Dubai video or soundtrack, you probably should just hold your breath. If don't hold it too long, you may pass out. Because you know how Beyonce is. She, and, and the thing is, she's selfish, girl. She'll look up there and she'll look at, watch the video back. She'll be like, at home. Mm -hmm. I ate that. That looks sickening here. Oh, I'll well, put it in the vault. <laughs> we wanted it. What happened? Can we have it? Mm, no. <laughs> That's literally B. She'll, I feel like in my mind, hypothetically, a girl be at home. Mm, this is really nice. We ate that. Parkwood, y'all ate that. That film, y'all ate that. This looks nice. I like the edit. The coloring is nice. Hmm. Put it in the vault. <laughs> and leave. <laughs> That's just that. So, girl, don't be looking for this no time soon. Who knows? Hopefully we do. But no, my girl. Mm -mm. All right, trying to tell me. I just wanted to come in kiki with y'all really quickly about Beyonce and how much we live in. And rumor she may be at the Grammys, performing at the Grammys. A girl can dream if we can get a renaissance moment at the Grammys. Oh, that would make my whole entire year already. Huh. Well, we shall see. Next time I'll see y'all because we got to talk about the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl is coming up and we got to cheer for my good girl, Rihanna. So I'll catch y'all on the next one. It's about Super Bowl, girl. Mm-hmm.